What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another King Jace video. Now before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick little update about this series right here. So I realized Monday Night Gear Talks, if it's strictly just about gear, it feels kind of limiting to me. Of course there's videos that I can make about it, but I feel more comfortable making videos such as do-it-yourself stuff, how-tos, and different tutorials, and just a different variety of videos. So with that being said, I'm still gonna be uploading every single Monday night but it won't necessarily only be about gear. So once again, you guys, still uploading every Monday, just not always about gear. So we're switching it up, Monday night uploads. All right, now with that being said, let's throw it out of the way and get started with today's video. All right, you guys, so today I'm gonna be telling the story about how I started with film. My initial interest in film came from a skateboarder. He actually is a skater on YouTube and he goes, his channel is Dale Decker or Dale Doe and he has a Minolta SRT 101. And when I first started seeing him, you know, post about shooting film, it got me really interested because coming from digital, it just looked really different. And so I started doing research online and I found film cameras here and there and I completely got obsessed with film photography. It was a good two to three weeks and I've been raving and raving about film and my girlfriend finally says, do you want me to buy you a film camera? And as soon as she said that, I took advantage of the offer and I went online to look at different cameras. Now keep in mind, I had no prior knowledge to film cameras at all. And the videos I looked at on YouTube weren't necessarily there to help me out to choose what camera should suit me the best. But one day I found the art of photography. I'm sure you guys all know him, super successful YouTuber, actually a really good photographer as well. And so, he talked about this one video about KEH, which is a website where you can buy used and new gear. And so I typed it up on my computer, I went over there, and I looked at the film section, and I looked for the cheapest film camera that I could buy. I showed Drew, she paid for it, and then the next week, this thing showed up to my door. This right here, you guys, is the Minolta HTSI Plus, and this was my very first ever film camera. Now, when I got this thing, I was ecstatic and I really needed a lens. So I purchased, my first ever lens was a 70 to 200. Once I got both of these, I put it together, went to Walmart, bought a battery and started shooting. I remember I'd always take this thing to class and fit inside of my little side bag. And every time I had the chance to, I'd go out there and I'd start shooting. And every single day, I remember taking a roll of film and take me like maybe two to three days to shoot one roll because I was so interested in slowing myself down, learning about exposure and all that good stuff. Eventually, I got sick of the 70 to 200 just because of how close it was. So I invested in a 35 to 70 and I also got a 28 to 90. And so I'm pretty sure these lenses are really cheap. I think I bought this one for like 25 on KEH and the 35 to 70 was like 15. The 70 to 200 was the most expensive one. It was like 35 bucks which still isn't that bad. Now, after I completed my lens lineup and I had a whole system to shoot on, that same YouTuber, Dale Decker, started to make zines. Now, if you guys don't know what zines are, they're little compilations of photos a photographer takes and they usually handcraft it or either, you know, get it designed and printed out. And I wanted to make something similar to that. I didn't have any knowledge about making a zine or the work that goes into it. And so, Pretty much, I remember like when I was little, my parents would get film developed and then would get those prints and they'd stick it in an album. And so that's what I did. This right here, you guys, it says JP 2017 photography. These were all the photos that I took on film from when I first started shooting. This is a compilation of maybe two to three months. Now, I don't know if you guys can exactly see that, but some of these photos weren't all too bad. I honestly think this one right here, if I can get it in focus, was probably, it's still one of my favorite pictures just because of how symmetrical it looks. So yeah, I started shooting my film camera, getting those developed, getting prints done. And eventually I racked up a really solid collection of when I first started, you know? And you can kind of see the progression as we go. Uh, here I started shooting trees, and then I started getting into street photography and that's where, uh, actually these are portraits of Drew. Um, you know, I started getting into street photography and then stuff like this started coming out. Now, by this time, by, by the time I had this right here, I was already shooting a Minolta X700. I got tired of having such an automated camera and I really wanted to learn exposure just because I was getting so obsessed with film photography and about slowing down, 
36 frames and you know all that cliche film stuff now take it a year later and here we are today so that was pretty much how I started with film photography. It was a humbling experience from the start. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the process and I'm still learning today. I just wanna say to all the YouTubers who inspired me, Dale Decker, The Art of Photography, um, Matt Day. You guys all inspired me to pick up a film camera and start shooting, so thank you guys for getting me to where I am today and I, I really, really, really appreciate you guys showing me the, the art and the craft. So you guys, that's gonna wrap it up for Monday night's video. Also, before we go, I'm very interested to hear your story behind how you got into film photography. So go ahead and comment down below. Let me know, how did you guys get into film photography? Were there any people that you watched that influenced you? Because ultimately, everybody gets influenced by someone, you know what I mean? So that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you for watching the video. As always, it's been King Japes, Minota Gang. Till next time, I'm a pilgrim. <laughs>